All right, so we're going to do an example with more circle. And, and more circle problems are just, you know, when you're given a state of stress, like the one here, um, with normal stresses and shear stresses shown, and you, often you're asked to find the state of stress at a new angle of orientation, or the principal stresses and the maximum in-plane shear stresses are common questions, and drawing that representative volume element afterwards. Uh, for the principal stress state and maximum in-plane shear stress state, more circle is really well suited for that. I think that might be the fastest way to get there um, as compared to like using the stress transformation equations. One of the first things you want to do is, is, is draw that coordinate system. So one is coordinate systems, okay? Coordinate system for the representative uh, volume or it's the stress state that's given to you. And you know, here you just define a, um, your positive x direction. So here I'm gonna say just standard positive x to the right positive y upwards. So wherever I draw x, you know, y tags along according to the right-hand rule. Okay, I could have drawn x going upwards and y going to the left, x going to the right, left and y going down, whatever. Okay, I could have done anything. But these coordinates are important in establishing uh, uh, the directions and then that way you can get the proper sign convention for the stress, you know, when you label the stresses. So here the second thing to do is, is really label stresses or define stresses, define stresses here, and these stresses here, so in this case here, sigma x is equal to a positive 1 ksi because it's causing tension or it's in the positive x direction, so 1 ksi, sigma y here, and over here it's 2 ksi causing compression on that face, so minus 2 ksi here, and then the shear stress, tau xy, here, I am on the x face, here's my x face, in the negative y direction. So a positive times a negative gives me a negative, and therefore this would be minus 3 ksi. And this even works over here on this face. I am on the positive y face in the negative x direction, so positive times a negative. Or over here, I'm on the negative y face in the plus x direction, which also leads me to negative 3 ksi. Okay. And so once I have my stress state st set up, you know, it's up to you to choose stress transformation equations or more circle or whatever you want to do to determine whatever the question is asking. All right. So in this case, we're going to use more circle because, hey, this is an example of more circle. All right. And the first thing you want to do for more circle to come up with that is the center of the circle. And the center of more circle is... The center, I'll use note C, is sigma average comma zero. And that sigma average is the average of the normal stresses. So sigma average is equal to one plus negative two divided by two. And this is the average of the normal stresses, sigma x plus sigma y divided by two. And so here, this is minus one half KSI, okay? So there's a, the, the center of more circle. The next thing you need is the first is like a point point on the outer radius on outer radius okay that point on the outer radius is represents this face right here it represents that face right there okay we're the x face the plus x face or theta equals zero degrees okay so this point on the outer radius we'll call point a a right here and a is just sigma x tau xy so a point a is one comma minus three and now we're ready to draw those points on a coordinate system okay so here five draw more circle circle or the circle of stress whatever okay now now here you know uh, let's see here so i have uh, you know, I find it's easier to draw the circle first, and, and if you have like a nice little a coffee cup cap or something, it, it's it's kind of a useful handy tool to have to draw a nice clean circle. So here I'm going to draw more circle first. Bam, I'm going to draw a circle first, okay? Sometimes you don't even need to draw the circle, but here in this case I'll draw the circle first, right here, so that I have a nice looking circle that looks relatively nice. And let's see, the here is about the center of the circle is right about here. So I'll draw my horizontal axis. And then I know that the center of the circle right here is about minus 0.5 comma 0. Okay, so that's minus 0.5 comma 0. That's the center of the circle. So I have to figure out like, okay, so maybe right about here. And 
Oh, so here, this would be about the zero. So here's my vertical axis right about here. I'll call that my vertical axis. Then, so here's plus sigma, plus tau. Here's that direction. You know, if you have nice graph paper, just draw the axes first. You'll dot the center, and then you'll do, um, you draw a point A. Point A would be, right, let's see, boom, 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 right about here. This would be point A, and this would represent 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 right there, okay? 1 minus 3. All these in units of KSI, okay? So there's no issues about units. And uh, um, you draw more circles. So, so in you know, what you might normally do if you have nice graph paper, you have engineering paper with all the grid lines and things, you'll draw this point first, you'll draw this point next, and then you'll draw a line if you've got a nice compass or something. And, and you'll make it right but I, whenever I do that I, I end up with sloppy circles okay and they just you know it, it just ah, it's just ghetto all right so check this out the rest of this right now one, one of the most important things you need is the radius of the circle so you know calculate the radius so the radius of the circle is this line right here whoa okay right here here is this radius right here okay and and here we know that this 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 point right here is one Okay, and this total distance going from here to here, this distance right here, what is that? That's 1.5 right there, okay? If this, is, if this is the one marker, right, this total distance is 1.5, and this, total, this distance right here is 3. That's 3. So the radius of my circle here, the radius is the square root of... 1.5 squared plus 3 squared, okay? And, you know, I, I've neglected the negative sign or anything like that because, you know, it's going to be squared. And so here, this, if I do my calculator, this is going to be 3.35 KSI. And this is the radius of my circle, okay? And so now the question is, what is my principal stress state? So the principal stress is, here, so I have this right here. So the thing to note, okay, the principal stresses are, are, are essentially the states where the shear stresses are zero. And in more circle, the shear stresses are zero on this line right here, on this line right here. So this point right here, this first point represents the major principal stress, sigma one. The major principal stress being the most positive principal stress in this here, okay? right here and this is the least positive principal stress sigma 2 the minor right here okay so if I look at this right here I know that this distance right here is R and I know that this distance is also R right here so the coordinate of sigma 1 is R minus you know the distance to the center of the circle R minus, let's use, uh, let's use purple, R minus this distance right here, the coordinate sigma 1. So sigma 1 right here, just based on geometry, my principal stresses, so I'll put, let, me, let me do the principal stresses over here. Let's call these principal stresses. You can read that, principal stresses right here, and here, sigma 1 is just R, which is 3.35 KSI, minus, has, you know, is this distance right here is sigma 1, right there. That's sigma 1. It's 3.35 KSI minus 0.5 KSI, which is 2.85 KSI. Yes, I think that's right. 2.85 KSI right there. Bam. Okay. And then sigma 2 is the coordinate over here at sigma 2 which is this distance right here, that red line to the left is sigma 2. And sigma 2 is 3.35 KSI, and it's negative because it's over here to the left of 0, if you will, and it's, you know, it's negative plus negative 0.5, or minus 0.5 KSI, and this is minus 3.85 KSI. Yes, okay, minus 3.85 KSI, that looks good. So my two principal, my, my major and my minor principal stresses are 3.35 and minus 3.85 KSI. Now, 
now what I need to do, okay, if I have enough space over here, is draw the representative volume element. Now I want to draw the RVE for principal stresses, okay? And this, and the principal, in drawing the RVE is nice because it's like, it's like being able to look at the whole answer in just one drawing, 